So, short lighting versus broad lighting. What's the difference and when should you use which? Let's explore that today. So, short lighting is where the side furthest away to the camera is the most lit area, i.e. This part of Dominica's face will be the most lit because the light is all coming from this direction. And it also casts a really nice triangular shape on the other side of the face. And that is also known as Rembrandt lighting, which is made famous by the famous painter Rembrandt. Broad lighting is where the light is coming more from this direction, but I will show you that in a minute. Let's now focus on short lighting. Let me show you what I'm gonna get with this setup. We're not focused on the actual gear and the camera. This is all about the actual lighting and the lighting placement, where your light is placed. So let's take a shot and show you. So I've also got a grid on here as well. This is gonna help me control the spill of the light. Most of the light is gonna be coming from this direction. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So nice and safe for me down. One, two, three. And that, is short lighting. Another thing you can do as well if you wanted to open up the shadow side of the face a little bit is either add a reflector or you can add a foam board which we're going to do now. What this will do is just open up the shadow side of Dominica's face a little bit. So let's get a shot and show you what that looks like. So same thing again for me down, one, two, three. And there you go, you see that opens up the shadow side a little bit and it's a much more nicer image, but when it comes to lighting and these patterns of light, it's all dependent on your taste as well. Like what are you trying to go for? What are you trying to achieve? So you need to figure that out before you actually set up your lighting and start shooting. So let's now do broad lighting. So with broad lighting, the side of the face that is closest to camera is the most lit. Let's show you what that looks like now. One, two, three, get one more. So as you can see, the difference with this compared to short lighting, it depends on what you wanna use it for and your use case scenario. There's no right or wrong. As much as some people might say and tell you, um, it depends on what and who you're photographing. So, be careful, be mindful of who you're actually gonna be using this on. And that's it, it's that simple. It's all about where you place your light compared to where your subject is. So yeah, that's the difference between broad and short lighting. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.